Hi everybody, welcome to another Premier Guns review here on our YouTube channel. And we've been doing quite a lot of quite rare guns recently, particularly uh, uh, particularly the Beretta limited editions. So what we've got here today is another quite rare opportunity for people to see uh, another limited edition Beretta. Now this is the um, the DT11 Gold. So the DT11 Gold was initially produced in very small numbers for the 2020 Olympics to, to commemorate the 2020 Olympics. Now, I understand that due to some kind of copyright licensing law that whereby the gun was gonna have 2020 stamped on it, it ended up just being having gold stamped on it instead. I don't know why, but I understand it was something to do with that and to do with um, the Olympics. Okay, so what Brett decided to do to commemorate the 2020 Olympics was to make a very special edition DT11. So they would have had people competing from all over the world in those Olympics with DT11s, and particularly on the um, the Olympic trap and the skeet disciplines. So what they did is they produced a very, very small number worldwide. So we had 75 skeet, 125 trap, and 200 sporters. So 400 guns in total, which although that sounds like a lot, we're talking about the entire world. So it's their top end competition gun, as I'm sure you're aware. We have done other DT11 videos before, although I don't think we've done actually a video on the standard DT11, so that will be that will be coming soon. So the DT11 is the wider action successor to the DT10, whereby as well as the wide action, they also changed the barrel technology quite a bit. Yeah, so we're going back to 2020 when these guns were out. We had, I believe, nine or ten, quite a large uh, quantity of the allocation that the UK was given from Beretta. Did very well with them. I remember we exported a skeet gun to, I believe, Finland or Denmark. We sold a couple of trap guns, and because we primarily sell sporters, we sold eight, nine, ten sporters. So what happened is recently, uh, I was offered the opportunity to buy a new one from the UK wholesalers, and since then I've had one come in second hand as well. So I thought, great opportunity to show you guys um, one of the rarest DT11s. So if you look at the gun, whereby you would normally have the Azuri blue Beretta line um, around the side of the action with the DT11 graphics, inevitably it's gold because this is a DT11 gold, so that's what they did. So it's got the, the standard action with the gold embellishments. And if you look underneath, as with Beretta, they always have a nice little touch. You've got DT11, the, the Trident logo, which is picked out in gold, and you've got the number underneath. All guns are individually numbered. This one is number 149 of 200. Quite often when we get these limited edition guns, we get people say, oh, where's number one? And usually it's in the Breton Museum in Italy. To get a very low number is rare. I'm not saying it's impossible, but if you want a particularly low number of a limited edition Bretta, you usually have to scour the globe to find it. So as with all DT11s, you've got the polished shoulders here, the sort of the, the matte finish action, matte finish trigger guard and matte finish trigger. Now, like I said before, the DT11 is slightly wider than the DT10. It's actually got a 43mm action width as opposed to, I think, 3940 for a DT10. And what that imp what that does is that extra width just increases, en enhances, I should say, the balance of the shotgun in between the hands. So I talked about where it says gold on it, where it was going to say 2020. So if you can just see closely there, where the, um, the locking bolt, the Kirsten bolt comes out, it's got the word gold engraved down the side, which I think is a really nice touch. Now, I shoot a DT11, and I think this is a really smart, I'm not a fan of the blue, to be honest, although we sell tons of them, and they are a super, super good, but I really like the gold. I didn't buy one because I've got a scroll engraved one, so I didn't see any point, but it was a one of the limited editions I was really, really quite keen on. So, standard Kirsten Bolt, Steelium Pro barrels, I've said before, time and time again, the forcing cones are 460 millimeters in a DT11, and what that does is it makes it seriously, seriously smooth to shoot. There was um, there was concern when the DT11 was first launched back in 2012 regarding fiber wad cartridges because of the pressures, but having shot mine at some very tall game, I can say I would be I would have no concerns whatsoever shooting any kind of fiber wad cartridges through it. And yes, they are overboard, but it really doesn't affect the performance of the gun. So we've got two examples here, both 32 inch, one right, one left. So 
The action, again, I'll take the trigger out because it's one of the really, really special things about the, the DT series of guns. Makes it super easy for maintenance, for security, for um, for any kind of repairs that are needed now and again, or hopefully never. So trigger group drops in just like that. Again, we've done a video on the uh, on the DT11 trigger group removal and refitting. That's not the word I'm looking for, but okay. Um, so the gold in sporting came with standard Breta dimension. So this, these are both got extremely nice pieces of wood, as you can see. Very nicely figured European walnut. Two very different pieces of wood also, so it's a nice little contrast. So 35, 55 in terms of dimension, which is exactly what you'll get if you buy a new DT11 off the shelf today or in a sporting um, specification. 14 and 5 eighths is the length of the stock. That's when it's fitted with an 18 mil micro core recoil pad. Again, they do shorter and longer pads so we can play around with the length of pull. And again, with all DT11s, you will get the B-Fast stock balancing system. Now, I don't believe there's any weight in this gun. So if we just check the balance, and you can see there, it's a little bit barrel heavy, it's just tilting slightly. So the weights that you get, which we've got in the case here, I'll just show you, come in 20 and 40 grams. So what we'd do is we'd probably put just a couple of these weights in the back end and that would just return the gun's balance just to uh, just over the hinge pin. But again, the, the, the beauty of these things is if you like a gun that's stock heavy, you can put more weight in the stock, or if you like a gun that's barrel heavy, you can take the weight out of the stock, and that is you know a nice thing to be able to do in terms of personal customization. So class three walnut, so you've two very, very nice examples here. I would say they're probably you know borderline class four at very least rounded four and now with a dt11 there's three options of four and you can either have the schnabel which has got the traditional tulip lip on the front you can have the what's called a london which is the round one which is this one or you can have a beaver tail all the 11s that we supplied apart from the trap guns which had a beaver tail on were all standard round four and because that was the specification for the gun in the uk 10 by 8 sporting tapered rib Against the Steelian Pro barrels, we've talked about the forcing cones. Optima HP extended chokes, again, standard Bretta DT11 tackle. Um, and barrel weight, I would hazard a guess at 1550, just as a, as a guess on this 32 inch gun, somewhere in the region of. Just check that. Again, it's nicely engine turned, nicely finished, just on the, uh, on the breech, on the barrels. And this one is 1530, so it's a tiny, tiny bit lighter. And again, we've still got to put a bit of weight in the back of the stock just to uh, just return the balance over the hinge pin. So we've got two, we've got number 149. And we've got number, the left handed one is number 106. Like I said, we supplied, well, this is the brand new and we supplied this one new. We've just taken it back in, in part exchange. Uh, not many left handers about, so that is a particularly rare gun. So with the left handed version, you get a left-handed palm swell. Obviously all uh, top levers on Bretters are right hand. They've never produced a left-handed top lever like the, the marks of Blaza. Obviously Browning now do it. Uh, and of course Kriegoff, but um, all right-handed levers, left-handed palm swell, left-handed cast. And it's worth noting that with all Italian guns or certainly most Italian guns, which of course Bretter are Italian, you do get quite a degree of cast. So. You know, a right-handed gun will probably have eight mil at the toe, and a left-handed gun will have eight mil at the toe to the left. So, you know, they do tend to suit uh, broader shoulder guys um, versus, you know, something more neutral cast like a Browning or a Maruku. As you'd expect with a limited edition gun, a special gun, you also get a special case. Now, just before I move on to that, the serial numbers also denote the fact that it's a limited edition. So whereby with a standard DT11, the prefix would be a DT at the start of the serial number. These are actually serial numbers, which you'll see in the picture. GLD, okay, for gold, I would imagine. That's the abbreviation. Put the weights back in the case. So although it looks like a standard DT11 case on the face of it, if I move the pyjamas out of the way, we've got DT11 gold, quite nicely finished over there. And you need your sunglasses on for this. A super, super shiny case. So I, I have no idea what the thought is behind this. You would assume with it being a gun that was a gold, you might put it in a gold case. 
but let's face it, that would have been absolutely hideous. This is not much better. I think it's a bit over the top, but again, it's a case. It's probably gonna spend most of its time in the loft. It doesn't really matter. Um, as with all competition guns, this is supplied in an airline approved ABS case, so you can take it shooting all over the world. And we've just talked about the little, the, um, the stock weights. So in your spare kit, you get a stock weights, spare firing pin, spare springs, spare beads, screwdriver to adjust your trigger, snap caps, stock bolt tool. So another top tip, we have mentioned it in previous videos and I will mention it time and time again when I'm confronted with a stock bolt in a case, a uh, stock bolt tool, is you must, must periodically check that your stock bolt in the back of your shotgun is tight. You know, largely we're talking about guns that are having quite a lot of use. You go out clay shooting 200 shells a week, 1,000 shells a month, even more than that sometimes. Inevitably, the stock bolt is going to work a tiny bit loose. So also, always, you know, every three months, maybe six months, if you don't do that much shooting, get your stock bolt up, stick it inside your stock and give it a damn good twist just to make sure it is nice and tight. So stock bolt key, all your bits and pieces in your box, Optima HP chokes, standard Beretta factory chokes, really, really good chokes, excellent, excellent patterns. Obviously, again, we've talked about different manufacturers. It's got Optima HP barrels, so if you want to put Teed chokes, Briley chokes, Muller chokes in, whatever you want, that's your privilege. Um, we have a lot of people that are very, very satisfied with the factory chokes out the box. That is pretty much it. Like I said, the idea with this channel is to try and give you the opportunity to see some quite rare guns that you wouldn't normally see. Remember, there's only 400 of these being produced throughout the world. So the amount of shooters in the world, a lot of people won't have seen one. If you have got one, great, nice gun. I would recommend you keep it for a long time because I think they uh, long term will be a bit of an investment. If you want to know anything about these particular guns, please drop us an email, give us a call, comment below about what you think. And again, we've talked about this before, but if there's a particular type of gun that you want to see a review on, let us know. We will do what we can to, uh, to bring that review to you. That is the DT11 Gold. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.